Hello everyone, this is Adair from Oz Engineering. In this video, I'll show you how to enable additional CPU cores and GPU in Ansys Electronics Desktop. For this, you will need the right HPC licenses in addition to your base solver license. For more details, check out the blog linked in the video description. Now to enable additional CPU cores in ADT, go to the Simulation tab and click HPC Options. In the HPC and Analysis window, Select the design type for which you want to change the number of cores. Here I'll select HSS and click Edit. Now you see the Analysis Configuration window and here you can change the number of cores. So for instance I said 10, then I click OK. You can follow the same steps to enable more cores for other solvers. Here for instance I'll select uh, Maxwell 3D, I'll go to Edit and I'll change the number of cores to 10. For solvers that support GPU acceleration, you can configure GPU settings in the Analysis Configuration window. So let's go back to HPC Options. You can also open this window by going to Tools, Options, HPC and Analysis Options. Here we'll go to the Options tab. Then we will select the design type for which we want to enable GPU. Here I'll select HFSS. And under HPC Licensing, set Enable GPU to True by clicking the value next to it and toggling it on. Note that HFSS includes a separate toggle for Enable GPU for SVR Plus Solve. Now go to the Configurations tab, then click Edit. In the Analysis Configuration window, we'll uncheck Use Automatic Settings, and here we can set the number of GPUs. You can follow the same procedure to enable GPU for other solvers. Here I'll select Maxwell 3D, and set Enable GPU to True. Now if I go to the Configurations tab, Edit, we can change here the number of GPUs. This is how to enable additional CPU cores and GPU in AEDT. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.